Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to send an email using SendGrid module. So in this video, we will see how to send an email using NodeMailer module. NodeMailer is a popular module in Node.js for sending emails. Also, I will be using Gmail service for my SMTP mail service provider. So basically, NodeMailer communicates with the Gmail SMTP service provider. This service provider will take care of sending the mail from sender address to the recipient mail address. Let's get started with code. So I have uh, created a, a project folder in VS Code with a couple of files. So I will use uh, environment variables uh, in this uh, project. Also I have uh, one image file as well as uh, one PDF file. So which I will use these uh, uh, files as an attachment to my mail. Also I have created one empty file sendemail.js. So uh, here onwards we will start uh, with the coding part. So before that we need to install some uh, packages. So let's get back to the browser. Let's copy this command to install nodemailer. Node so I have opened my powershell uh, on the project folder. So along with nodemailer I will also uh, install .env for handling environment variables. Alright, let's go back to VS Code. So first of all, let's uh, import the library. Also, we need to import uh, .env so that uh, we can access uh, environment variables uh, inside this project. And we need to call the config method so that uh, it will attach uh, environment variables in the .env file to the system variables. Okay, uh, let's go back to browser. So if you go to nodemailer.com, so you will be uh, able to navigate to this site. So once we install this uh, module, if you scroll a bit down, so we can see the example code. So let's copy this code. So first of all, we need to create a transporter. So let me change this variable to const. So here I will be using as mentioned, like uh, the service will be Gmail. Since we are using uh, Gmail, uh, so the host will be uh, smtp.gmail.com. So if you are using any other uh, mail service provider, then you need to provide the, that particular host name here. So also if you ignore this port number by default, it will uh, uh, take 587. And like in case if you are using port number 465 like this, uh, then in that case you should use secure as a true. So let me change back. I will come to this port numbers uh, in a moment. Uh, so let's update the user details. So here you can see uh, we need to add uh, authentication uh, details so that node mailer can communicate with uh, Gmail service provider. So like I will use my uh, sender mail address So from environment. Uh, so I have a variable called a user and uh, this will be the app password. So let me call that uh, variable as well. So I have created one password called uh, app password. Uh, let me remove this uh, or let me update this. So this will be app password from Gmail account. So again, I will come back to why we are using this uh, app password. Uh, so let's continue with the uh, further code. So once we created uh, our uh, transporter, we need to so create uh, these uh, options. So let me copy this. So I will create a variable called uh, mail options. So here you can observe so, uh, this is the from address like basically uh, there are different formats that you can apply your from address. So this is one way like you are providing the name as well as uh, your uh, from address in this uh, uh, way. Also you can observe you can uh, simply put your uh, uh, address directly like this. So I will update this thing so that uh, we can have a, a name. So here I am naming the name as uh, the channel name and the second thing is the address property so this is uh, the sender address so again i will be using this uh, same environment variable okay so now so i will update this uh, two address to one of my uh, mail address so in case like if you want to send this uh, mail to multiple people then you can simply keep it in a array of uh, address like this or you can also do uh, comma separated uh, values like uh, uh, one more mail like this but uh, i i just uh, follow uh, the array of addresses uh, for the simplicity all right uh, so the next thing is subject so i will update this uh, to 
so send email using node mail and gmail let's give this uh, text and uh, html like this so in case like uh, if you have a uh, uh, if you want to mention cc or uh, bcc then again uh, these are the you can provide as a list of values in array format but uh, in this case in my case like i'm not going with that so you can go with your requirements so next case is like uh, so as i mentioned uh, like previously like uh, so we have an image file as well as a pdf file so we will send this uh, as attachments so we need to create a property so this is a array of objects where each object represents uh, the attachment so first of all we need to provide the file name we give that uh, pdf file name and the second thing is we need to provide the path where the file is located in our project so i will be using a, a built-in module a path module so let me import that so using path module like uh, we can join the directory along with uh, the file name so i'm using test.pdf uh, also like uh, you can provide the content type so here it is a pdf right so we can go with application slash pdf uh, it is it is not a mandatory but uh, if you provide it it is a uh, uh, better so you can also give a try to send without the content type also so it's completely optional so the next thing i want to uh, attach is the image file so i'm just copying this so let's update the names all right so we are uh, done with the mail options so we have a uh, created the transporter node mailer transporter so this is uh, responsible for communicating with our um, gmail service from mail service provider and then we have created uh, our mail options so here we have mentioned our from address uh, to, uh, to address to the list of receivers and the subject text and html version also we have uh, provided our attachments uh, okay so now i would like to create a function here which is a uh, send mail so this is an async function so in this uh, function like let me open this so i'm just uh, consoling the error so here i will call so i will make use of the transporter and then i will call the function send mail so this will accept uh, this mail options so first of all when we are calling the function so we need to provide the transporter as well as mail options to the function so that we can make use of them inside this so just trying to implement the uh, functional programming so inside this we need to provide the mail options all right so after this line uh, i will console log so this determines the email has been sent successfully okay so now our code part is uh, completed so let's go back to browser and uh, look at how to generate app password from our uh, gmail account so this is my sender uh, gmail account so if you go to your account uh, you need to go to you know manage your uh, google account so here onwards you need to go to security so if you scroll down so first of all you need to enable two-step verification here so under uh, sign in to google like you need to enable this so once you complete this one if you click on this so once you go inside the two step verification uh, you can find if you scroll a bit down you can find the app passwords here so i have already created one so you need to uh, create one so if you go inside it again so you can see uh, i have created one for this uh, tutorial so what you need to do is uh, you need to select uh, the app so you can go select the others you can provide your uh, node application name node project uh, as per your project name and then uh, you can click on generate so it will create a new password so it will create a 16 digit uh, password secret password so do not share with uh, anyone so you can uh, use that password in your uh, authentication data here and i have play already placed in my environment variable in dot env file so previously what happened was uh, if i go back again so let me go back so as you can see like uh, if you try to search with the less keyword you can see less secure apps uh, under your google account so if you go to this article so you can read this like you know from may last year 2022 google is no longer supporting the use of third-party uh, apps or devices 
which ask you to sign in to your google account using username and password so before we were actually uh, you know enabling the less secure uh, apps in our google account and here we are providing uh, your, our uh, sender gmail address and for the password like we are providing our gmail password so this is uh, actually kind of uh, uh, security breach like you are providing your gmail account data to the third party apps which is not uh, secure so uh, they have uh, you know they are no longer supporting this now as an alternative approach like they have come up with uh, app passwords so i hope uh, you understand the difference you know uh, why we need to uh, generate a app password from our security google account so let me close this so i believe uh, we have a code setup and uh, uh, password is generated so let me execute this and verify all right uh, so i have uh, received this console log email has been sent so let me verify from uh, our uh, so let's go to the recipient mail address first of all so let me refresh this okay you can see uh, so the name is web wizard and it has a subject so this is what uh, why uh, you know i'm using the from so this is the name that it is uh, showing otherwise it will use our uh, email okay if you go inside so you can see this is that uh, html tag and then these are the two attachments uh, that we have attached uh, just in case like if it went to pam folder uh, just verify it also but most probably uh, if you provide a proper subject with uh, data proper data that doesn't seem like a spammy then uh, it will come to your inbox uh, properly so let me go back to the code base so here uh, like initially like we have uh, spoken about the port numbers right so by default like if you do not mention like you 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 are not needed to mention this like you can simply ignore this thing uh, like this so default port that it will go is uh, 587 so if i go to uh, the smtp transport the fourth uh, section so he, here if you see the port the general options port so it is the port to connect to defaults to 587 okay if it is the secure is false so that's what uh, you know so these are the default values so for when you are using any port other than 465 secure will be false so what is the use of 587 port number so first of all if we understand this so you can see originally the smtp port is uh, 25 but later on uh, today like uh, uh, you know we are using port 587 so this is the default port nowadays so this is the port for encrypted mail transmissions using the smtp secure okay so you can also observe the uh, difference like port 465 is also used sometimes but this is an outdated implementation and port should be used if possible so most probably your service providers will support uh, port 587 so just in case if you have a problem with uh, uh, using 587 and you are supposed to use 465 then so here when you specify 465 you, you are supposed to change this to true that's it so I'm just going with the default uh, options. Also, uh, one of the articles that I found on the internet. So uh, you can see SMTP port 465. It is a deprecated port and you should no longer use. And if, if you look at this port 587, the right choice for every situation. So like if you try to understand this, so it is a modern SMTP port for message delivery. So natively, like by default, it supports the TLS uh, security mechanism, allowing for the secure submission of mail over SMTP. That's all about the video, guys. Uh, I hope the video is uh, helpful. Do like and subscribe to the channel. Let's meet in another video. Until then, uh, take care. Bye.